Whenever you're working underneath your loader arms on any kind of attachment, you should have the uh, arms in the locked up position. Here on this ASV, there's a stopper that you put in and the lock pin. Therefore, the arms can't come down and uh, cause any injury. I'm going to go over how to install a leveling wheel on our Muskox snowblower. If you have a 2378, you'll already have this mounted and it's mounted on the right side. On a few of our blowers that went out for tool cats, the leveling wheel should have been mounted on the left side. So we do have a template available for left side and right side. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, so if you are putting one on a 2278, for example, you would probably want to have it on the right side. Unless you had a tool cat, you'd probably want it on the left side. They are mirrored over. So the right and left side, the holes are in the same position, just on the opposite side. Okay, when you grab your template, it'll say right on there, cut lines and place over outermost auger plastic nut on the back of the muskox. So exactly that's what you do. I found it's easier to use a knife than a scissor. Just go on the white lines and cut across and across the other way. There you go. Now you'd be ready to insert it onto the uh, fastener. As you notice, this would be the outermost bolt holding the inside UHMW liner. Now that I've cut that slot or those X's in that hole, you can see I can insert it over this fastener. And then if you just keep the template flush with the bottom of the blower, the main thing, these holes could move slightly back or forth, but getting them level with the blower uh, fairly critical. Here I'm just taking a piece of tape, going to put on top just to hold the template in place. Now I won't, you could use a center punch. Uh, to me it works great, just take a drill bit and drill right where the X's are. And then I am also going to put a piece of tape on this side to keep the template from rotating around. So again we're flush with the bottom, we're over the outside, most fastener. They said you could use a center punch, but I just take the drill bit, line it up on the X. And drill the hole. Work the other right on the X. I should have mentioned here. I'm using a quarter inch bit. Actually, I went one size over a quarter, so I had a little bit of leeway. Okay, once you've drilled the holes in, you can remove the template. Grab the leveling wheel, have your faithful assistant, no one if you want to shove the bolts through. And now you can uh, mount the uh, leveling wheel, start putting the nuts on. And I'm going to take my handy dandy 90 degree wrench here. You could use a open end or a socket or whatever. So you ready there? Yep. Now I tighten the leveling wheel up. And once you've tightened one fastener, I step back and see that the leveling wheel is level. You remember I drilled one size over a quarter inch and that was to make sure that uh, everything lined up. It looks level, so I'm going to have a Noah hold the other side. And Tighten it up, check that the uh, pendulum swings freely and you're ready to go.